Hello, I need to make some blanket chests and I'm going to use some 18mm MDF. So I've got my new sheet good carrier to help me move them out to the workshop. Now materials are expensive at the moment and I want to get the most efficient use out of them. So I'm using a website called Cutlist Optimizer. I've put in all the dimensions I want and they've come up with this plan to use it most efficiently. So now I can get marked out where I want to make the cards and then I'm going to use the track saw. I need to join a couple of tracks together to actually rip this long sheet down. I'm going to use my Bosch 18 volt plunge saw, get the battery in and then hook up the, also the 18 volt rack and I can start making the cards. With all the bits cut, how the cut list told me to do it, I can start getting these chests put together. So first, I'm gonna drill some pilot holes because MDF is notorious for splitting. So I get the holes drilled and then I'm gonna get some screws started in them. To join it together, I'm just going to run a bead of glue along the edge. Then I can get the bits butted up to each other and get those screws driven into place. With the first piece on, I can get the other piece, the other front or back or whichever way around it is, on and then I'm going to get the side panels slid into place and screwed in. Now this is a very simple construction with a lot of exposed screws at the end, but I have a plan to hide them all. This is going to be painted so you could just go around with the filler, fill all these holes and paint and you'd never know, but I want to make these more interesting. And I did some shaker style panelling in the garden room earlier in the year and I want to do something similar with this because I have a load of 9mm MDF just hanging around that needs using up. All these scraps are different widths so the first job is to rip them all down to the same size on the table saw. I'm going to start with the end panels because then I can make sure the front is the neatest and I'm going to get the bits cut down just on the table saw using the mitre gauge. Then I can get some glue on the bit in place, I'm just gonna hold it on with a few brad nails. There's a link down below to this brad nailer on the tools I use page, along with a lot of the other tools and materials. So if you're interested, please check it out. With the first bits on, then I can keep marking out the bits that go in between them and they get glued and nailed on in exactly the same way. The bits on the front of the chest go on exactly the same, but I just overlap them with the bits that went on the side, if that makes any sense. But it means it looks cleaner from the front. Now, I'm not bothering putting anything on the back because that's gonna go up against a wall. Now, the front looks a bit bare with just the border, so I wanna put some dividing pieces in, so I've worked out equal spacing for them, and I'm gonna get two in place, splitting into three different sections. Now, that's two of them done. They're a metre long because we needed a blanket chest that was two metres long, but it was never gonna fit upstairs like that. So we decided it looked better to have two individual ones rather than joining one big one together. And then it'd be easier to move in the future as well. Now, obviously there's little pinholes where all these nails went in. So I just get some filler on and leave that to dry. This ready-made stuff goes off pretty quickly, and when it's cured, I can just give everything a sand down, just going up to 120 grit. A final bit of hand sanding just to go around all the inside of the corners, and then it's ready to get some paint on. I'm going for some Cornish milk paint, because I've used it before. I really like it, it goes on nicely, dries quickly, and covers well on MDF. So I get a couple of coats of this on. 
This is an off-white sort of colour called Bakehouse. Who comes up with these names? For the top, I've got some of this engineered pine furniture board. It's pretty cheap stuff and it's very stable. And because I don't have a planer, it's hard to make up these big panels. So I've just bought one and then I can get it cut to size again using the track saw. I want to add a round over to three of the sides. So I get my round over bit, put in my little 12 volt router and get that added on. I give it all a sand down, again going up to 120 grit, especially going over the round over on the end grain just to tidy it up a little. And then this is ready for finish. So I've got this finish that's also a stain because I don't really like the blondy pine look. And this is called Antique Pine. I'll put a link to this down below as well. I'm going to get the lids attached to the main carcasses using some flush hinges. They're really cheap and they're easy to install, but if you want to know how to do it properly, check out Peter Millard's video about it on 10 Minute Workshop. I'll put a link down below because he explains it very well. So I drill some pilot holes on the carcass, transfer the marks around to the lid, get those holes drilled, and then I can start getting it screwed together. When you open the lid and want to fill it with blankets, I want it to stay in place, so I'm just putting one of these stays onto each of them. So that's it, two shaker style blanket chests done with lots of storage space. And they're just small enough to be able to get up a narrow staircase with a corner. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. And please subscribe for more videos.